How hard it is for a woman to give birth. Every new life is born because of a mother's tenacity. Mary has a doctorate in school. One day she came to a video store and fell in love at first sight with Nick. A Clark, that you don't speak. But they communicate with each other by the name of the disc. Every time Mary came in, Nick expressed his love. Until one day, Mary took out this movie disc. They officially became a couple and started dating. Kissing and doing what couples do. Sweet love filled the air between them. And they were carefree at that age. One day Nick said he wanted to have kids with her. Mary, who was in love, said yes without giving it a second thought. Things were going well. Mary was pregnant. But instead of the joy they expected, it brought a lot of trouble. Mary's teacher approached her and asked her to submit a paper during her pregnancy. As long as things went well, she would be appointed assistant professor. Mary tried to hide her pregnancy when she visited her mother. But her mother saw her right through it. At that moment, Mary realized that it was irresponsible to act on impulse. Besides, neither of them had a stable job. How could they support the baby? But it was too late to realize this now. They went to the maternity checkup together, seeing the babies being hard in front of the screen. They realized the existence of this little life, but the excitement was only temporary. As the days passed, Mary's moods began to fluctuate during her pregnancy. Her belly was getting bigger every day. In order to prepare for the arrival of the baby, Nick gave up his dream of making movies and chose to work in a company. Mary, who is about to give birth, is even more rebellious. She started skipping her birthing classes to play marbles, watch movies and go to the oceanarium. On the day of delivery, Mary didn't know the steps of childbirth and struggled to deliver the baby. Both of them were touched by the sight of the newborn girl. But after that, it was just a matter of daily life. They were overwhelmed with breastfeeding. Mary's life became a cycle of bathing and breastfeeding. Every time she tried to sit down to write her thesis, her daughter started to cry. Mary's mental health was deteriorating. She could down see off at the dinner table. Nick was preoccupied with work, and their relationship faded. Mary's focus was on her daughter, and this drove her and Nick further apart. To save their relationship, they entrusted their daughter to her mom and went on a trip together. But the effect didn't seem too obvious. The arrival of the baby overloaded them both physically and mentally. Mary finally finished that long delayed paper, but teacher was very disappointed with the finished product. He felt that Mary's paper was self-contradictory and had nothing to do with their previous research. It would be a mistake for her to become a teaching assistant, so the teacher gave up on her. Mary didn't realize that her child had changed her mindset. Losing her mind, she came home and fought with Nick. She knew she couldn't go on like this. In the course of the year, she'd become a different person. So she decided to take a break. She left the kids at home and went back to her mother. Under her mother's guidance, she had a different understanding of children and family. On the other hand, Nick, who was taking care of the children alone, also realized Mary's difficulties. After a lot of thinking, Mary made a decision. She deleted her dissertation and wrote a novel about her experience and named it a happy event. At the end of the story, she and Nick get back together. Although they can't be as free as they used to be, Life goes on, they fall in love, get pregnant, and have a baby. A new baby has left both of them scrambling. Responsibility drove them to grow up fast, and Mary gave up everything for the baby. The process left her devastated and helpless, and her final moment of relief was also a moment of rebirth. Though she is no longer the female student she used to be, she is now a wife and a mother. This is the end of this movie sharing. If you like it, you can subscribe to me. See you next time.